The Coca-Cola Company owns licenses and markets over 500 non-alcoholic beverage brands, including Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Fanta and Sprite. Right, and of course, as the fizzy drink movement seems to be running out of steam a bit, not a lot, they well, are also active. Well, certainly not in your household. <laughs> in water. You'd think water would be an easy one to compete with, but of course they've got brands like Dasani and others which are huge margin, juices, Minute mm. Maid, all of that sort of stuff as well. And uh, just looking at the market cap on this one, it's 178.2 billion US dollars, PE ratio of 25 and a dividend yield of 3.4%. Mia, I can't imagine that you're a Coca-Cola fan. No, I'm not. Well, I'm a Coca-Cola company fan, but I'm not a fan of, of drinking Coke. I do <laughs> drink water. <laughs> so I do drink Bon Aqua. That is what it's a well-known yep. water that they do, um, Glasso. So they are uh, very well-known brands under the stable. It's not just Coke. They've definitely embraced the sort of awareness on, on sugar consumption. Um, but you know, when you go to the to the Berkshire Hathaway AGM, you just hear Warren Buffett and, and Charlie Munger, two of the oldest investors still alive, just saying that they drink copious amounts of Coke and they're still very, very much alive. On that note, let's have a look at the share price graph, Paul, before we take our discussion further. So it's mm. certainly moving from the bottom to the right upwards. So it's had a fairly good five years, a little bit softer at the end there. I think there are some question marks. Quite significantly softer mm. in mm. this last period. So the all-time high looks to be about $47 or thereabouts back in April of 2010, according to my notes. So it's currently sitting at 41 So you've kind of come off a little bit. New management, uh, it's of course Atlanta, Georgia based. That's the head office. There's been some talk in the market about a possible next generation merger, perhaps with Anoisa Bush InBev. I don't know whether that's just no. idle chatter. I don't know what you think well, about that one. What they did do is they bought the um, the bottling um, the bottling business in Africa from Anoisa yeah. now. And what they said, I read the sort of the small report on that, and they said that they are going to keep that aside, just wrap it, and keep it ready to sell it off again to people. So who we're focus not looking at a merger in. It doesn't your book. seem like no. it. They they bought it over, and Anza didn't want it anymore, and they sort of want to secure. But the, the bot model link. is, of course, yes. that they typically don't own no, the bottlers. They have that's JVs the with the bottlers. So they yeah. want to sell that off again. Is this a buying opportunity? Just having a look at that share price. Well, graph. I think that the the price has sort of moved sideways now for a bit and um, and it, it doesn't look as expensive as it was in in the end of the previous year so I think it's a it's a company that will probably still keep on making money over the longer term they do evolve they don't they're not stuck mm. with coke and that's the only thing they do they evolve into a company that sort of focus on other brands and other other areas of beverages so I think it's a good investment still to have in your portfolio Just talking about the brand it's difficult to compete with the coke brand I mm. mean that's got to be one of the most familiar, powerful Absolutely. brands yes. globally. Of all the things that are sitting here in front of us, that's the most recognizable. And of course, it's been around since 1886, and yes. they've certainly played their cards strongly. You don't have to go into almost any urban or rural situation around the world to see that uh, red and white swoosh. Having said that, hot or not, there are a couple of extras. We haven't even mentioned the energy drink movement. Yes, so yes. That's, that's an a interesting big one. movement, and are uh, Coke capitalising on it. it through their part ownership and joint venture with Monster Beverages. Yes. So that's not uh, the market leader. Red Bull is, but they are very active there. I and have to that say, like as a punt, and uh, just I mean, I don't drink Red Bull all the time, <laughs> but I would not have survived this week in Davos <laughs> without six Red Bulls. Well, I can to tell get you through my debate. Six. When you compare. Six. 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 I had six five debates wow. and the mental stimulation that a Red Bull gives you is enough to focus on a variety of topics over a week in the snow. Brian, mm. you should really try um, Monster. The taste is superior to Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink them either, but I have tasted it and it's much nicer than All the right, Red Bull I'm gonna taste. No, but, I, but I only do this in that particular week <laughs> in So next year. <laughs> next year I'll try Monster. Monster. I don't know. I'm going to go not hot on Coke. I just think that in terms of the sugar content, that that thing is going to gather momentum, not lose it. And I know that there are many countries in the world that c couldn't give two hoots about sugar and sugar consumption, but it just feels to me like a, a big enduring kind of thing where people want to cut down on that. You like the company, you said. I at like the, the brand. I'll go for the brand and the fact that they do evolve and adapt. Um, I'm not a. I, I generally don't like investing in in products or in companies where I don't support the product itself. But there's another one here on the list today that I don't support using it, but <laughs> also it makes money for me. So no, I'll let me go guess. for hot. Is that VAT? <laughs> I'll go for hot on Coke. All right. We'll go for hot for for Coke, and you are not, not hot on yeah. Coke.